So in this video, I'm going to very rapidly show you an example PET acquisition by simulation here of a fluorodeoxy glucose distribution inside a human brain. Just a simulation, of course, here. So we're going to start off then by simulating back-to-back -back photon pairs as indeed acquired during a PET scan. So on the right-hand side, I'm showing here an example point of positron-electron annihilation because positrons are given off by fluorinating um, for the label of the FDG. And what we're getting then is a 511 kV photon going off in one direction and a 511 kV photon going off 180 degrees apart in the other direction. We're detecting that event here in the form of one count on a sinogram. S is just the perpendicular distance from the center of the field of view and phi represents the angle of that line. I refer you to another video for more details on the S and phi coordinate system. Here, I'm just back projecting the event, and then over here, I'm just recording the location of that positron emission site, where it annihilated rather with the electron. So it's actually a site of positron electron annihilation. Okay, so let's go on to the second event, and so on, we can keep going with more and more events and then what happens is that we get multiple events in the sinogram multiple back projected events as shown here so now you can see i've got about approaching 50 different uh, positron electron annihilations and back-to-back -back photon pairs that have been detected and uh, histogrammed or binned into a sinogram as shown on the bottom right corner here and also in the back projected image here in the bottom middle uh, we've got a, a build-up of all of these superimposed lines. Here I'm not using time-of-flight data, time-of-flight information, and so we're just uh, not making any assumptions at all about where the positron and electro electron annihilation occurred, and so we're just drawing lines through the back-projected image. But this would be like um, what's called a histo-image for time-of-flight data, but with a histo-image you could either just plot the single count or you could actually plot uh, a Gaussian-like distribution using time-of-flight information. But here, we're focusing on the non-time-of-flight case. And so you can see here that we've just uh, got this collection of counts here. Now we've got approaching 5,000 soon events in the sinogram here. And we're just building up, of course, the events in the back projected image as well. So now, to go ahead and show you a reconstruction, rather than use this noisy sinogram data, what I'm going to do is use a, a model of what the noise-free data would look like. And I'm going to do that just by a very simple forward projection, which is what I'm showing here. All I did there was just integrate along parallel lines at all the various angles through this true distribution to get a model of the noise-free mean data. And we're going to use that next for the reconstruction. But of course, we could have just st stayed with the Poisson distributed noisy data. So here we are then, ready for the reconstruction. There is, uh, for reference, the true distribution in the top left corner. And I've just copied here the uh, noise-free sinogram that we're going to be reconstructing from. So in what unfolds here, we're assuming we only have knowledge of the sinogram, which of course would typically be noisy. In the bottom left corner here, I'm showing the initial reconstruction, which you can see is just filled with uniform values everywhere. What I'm going to do in the EM algorithm is simply forward project that using the line integrals, a bit like what you saw earlier, to just predict what the measured data would have looked like um, if this were the true distribution. And of course, it's uniform initially, and so the sinogram here will look very different to the measured sinogram. In the top right corner, I'll show the ratio between the measured sinogram and the model of the mean, uh, the forward projection here. That ratio will be shown there, and I'll back project it in the bottom right corner I'll then divide by the sensitivity image and finally multiply. And that would be one iteration of EM. So let's go, go ahead and do that. There's the forward projection. There's the ratio in the top right corner. That ratio is the ratio between this measured sinogram and that model of the mean, the forward projection. It's just an element by element, bin by bin uh, division to give this ratio here, which is then back projected. That's the transpose of the forward model. In other words, we're just back projecting along lines. And then we divide by the sensitivity image and we can multiply by the image in the bottom left corner there in order to obtain an improved update of the reconstruction. So you can see here already after about 14 or 15 iterations, the reconstructed image is getting closer and closer to the true distribution. And again, this then is forward projected along line integrals to give a, a modeled um, data set here. And then we're taking the ratio between the actual measurement and the model of the mean of that data, which is here, given by the forward projection, 
there's the ratio which is back projected and then we multiply it again. And so it goes on for as many iterations as we may need. Uh, typically only 50, 60 or 70 or so iterations are used and also in practice what is done for speeding this up is that we use ordered subsets EM, OSEM, where in this forward projection stage, we only forward project into a subset of the angles, and then the ratio just for that, that subset is back projected, again, just for the subset, and then we can get an update very quickly. And then we forward project into a different subset, do the ratio for that different subset, back project, and update. Um, and so that gives rise to a much faster reconstruction algorithm. So this is um, all I wanted to show in this very quick video demonstration of EM reconstruction from a sinogram and showing also how that sinogram data is basically acquired. Thanks very much for listening. I'll leave this running meanwhile.